Hi, welcome to Studio Adonics. My name is Adonna Greaves and I'm a personal trainer and I'm going to introduce you to some very basic leg exercises to get you started in an exercise program. The first exercise I want to introduce is just a basic squat, okay? You might have seen this before, but I'm just going to help review some of the movements and the alignment, okay? Your feet are about hip width apart, your hips are aligned, your abs are tight, your chest is open. You want to maintain as much of a neutral spine position as possible as you're executing the squats. So here we go. We're going to slowly lower, flexing forward from the hips, as well as the knees, and slowly squeeze to lift, okay? I want you to inhale as you go down and exhale as you come up. Again, I'm gonna do two more repetitions and slowly lift. One more time, going down and slowly lift. Excellent, just to check your alignment, just gonna to turn to the lateral side and do the same thing, watching my back, maintaining neutral spine, squeezing your glutes, lifting up. Again, go down and lift up. Two more times, breathe it in. Weight distributed on the heels, one more time, really feeling the glutes contracting down and lifting up, good. Once you incorporate this in an exercise program, you want to do maybe about 15 to 20 reps, and as you progress, you can um, you know, make the exercises a little bit more challenging. This is another exercise I'm gonna show you that progresses the challenge a little bit more, is we're gonna do a basic squat and coming up with a kick, okay? Same thing, down and lift and kick and slowly down, and lift and kick. This incorporates some balance into the exercise. Lift and kick, one more time, working through the quadriceps and hamstrings as I kick. Okay, same position, lateral, checking your alignment, going down, and lift, kick. Really pull those heels back, and kick two more times. Go down, kick, one more time. Go down, kick. Excellent. Now, doing the exercises correctly is 50% of the issue, okay? Really to get yourself conditioned, that's a very critical thing. Your safety is very important. Now, to incorporate a little bit more cardiovascular into it, I'm going to include some upper body movements. So I have two weighted balls. They're four pounds. You can use um, tins of tomato paste Whatever you have at home, or if you've got dumbbells, by all means, you can use that. I'm gonna keep a little bit more of a narrower stance this time, okay? And I'm gonna keep my hands to the side. As I squat down, hands drop, my back stays up, and then I'm gonna lift my arms and click them over my head, going down. So I have a nice arc movement, lift, and going down. Good. Exhale, lift, and going down. One more time and lift and down, checking through the alignment, standing lateral, chest up, shoulders back, lengthen your spine, you squat, weight on the heels, and lift, exhale. Now just go to the level in which it's comfortable for you, and as you progress through the exercises, you'll be able to perform them a little bit better each time. Good, one more time, go down, and lift up, good. Incorporate this with some cardiovascular and squat exercises, will help you get started in your exercise program on the right foot. See you next time.